Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to install a non-Steam game to my Steam Deck and also install a trainer for that game. And that game is Grand Theft Auto 4. So if you click the thumbnail, I'm pretty sure you know already. Um, if you're into this kind of stuff, um, non-Steam games, crack games, installing trainers, emulation, gaming handhelds, especially the Steam Deck, please consider subscribing to the channel. That's basically all we talk about. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so we're on my Steam Deck on desktop mode and I've already installed the game on my PC and then I transferred the game folder to my Steam Deck. So here it is in my Steam Deck. So I put it under Downloads, Warpinator, so Grand Theft Auto 4, the complete edition. So this was copied from my PC, which I installed the game on. I installed the game on my PC and then I transferred the whole game folder to my Steam Deck. All right, so I've got the game here, GTA4.exe. So what you need to do, first thing, we need to add the game, a non-Steam game to our Steam. So open up your Steam, add a game, add a non-Steam game, browse. Okay, go to my folder, downloads, Warpinator, Grand Theft Auto 4, the complete edition, GTA4.exe, add selected program. Okay, so on your left-hand side, you should have a GTA4.exe. Go into its properties, compatibility, we're gonna change it to Proton Experimental. Then I'm gonna change the name to GTA4. So I'm gonna to, to delete the .exe, okay. So let's run the game first. See if it works on desktop mode. It should. I've tried it. But I'm going to show you on camera. All right, so it's working. So that's good. So I can alternate F4, exit out of it. No, alternate F4 doesn't exit out of it. Great. So let's just wait for this. All right, sound is good. Logos are popping up. Very good. Okay. All right. I'll turn it F4 works now. Okay. So I, because I've already gone into the game, I know it works. Um, so we got to download the trainer now because we want to install this. The main point of this video is to install the trainer. So go into your browser and go to this website. I will leave a link in the description. It's Nexus Mods and we're in Grand Theft Auto the game and I'm using Liberty Legacy's train. This is the most downloaded, most endorsed mod. So yeah, yeah, you can see. Liberty's Legacy Trainer. Okay, so download the files, go to files, manual download, and I'm on this edition, complete edition 1.2.0.43. So if you're on this edition, you need this patch. So I'm going to download it, which I already have. I I have a folder in my downloads, Liberty Legacies Trainer. So I've downloaded all the files. So this is th this one. This one, the advanced hook. Yeah, this is here. So I downloaded this already. All right. So if you have this edition of your game, make sure you download this. And then you need to download ASI Loader, which I also have done. So is this one, All right? Dsound.dll, this is the one I need, okay. And then you also need to download script hook. Okay, so script hook, this one, the latest version is 1.7.1.7b as of now. Um, if you're downloading at a later stage, maybe it's updated. I doubt it, it's a pretty old game. So anyway, download this and I already have it. Here, see the scripthook.dll. And then finally, you need to download the mod. So go to the mod, slow download, and you get this Liberty Legacies Trainer 1.8.2, which I already have here too. All right, so once you have all that, okay, let's unzip them and put them into our, put them into our game folder. So, all right, so the first one here, advanced hook. Make sure you put them 
I already have it because I've, I've tested it out. So I'm just going to overwrite. For you, I don't think you need to overwrite. Okay. And then uh, this one, the sound. You only need sound.dll. All right, overwrite. Okay. And then script hook. Okay. Drag it to your game folder. Apply to all. Okay. I think I might need, I think to be safe, I think this script hook. Uh, yeah, I don't think we should do anything. Just leave it. If there's an error, then we'll know. And then finally, the mod. So I'm going to drag this to the game folder as well. So everything just drag to the game folder. And that part is complete, but uh, it doesn't work like this for the Steam Deck because it, it doesn't know how to run the DLLs that you've just given it, given it. So what you need to do, you need to locate the game, the prefix folder of your game. And if you don't know where it is, I'll show you. Uh, open Proton Tricks. If you don't know what Proton Tricks is, go to the Discover Store. Type Proton Tricks. And download this, this wine glass. I already have it, so I don't need to download it. I can just launch it. Locate the game. So you can see here, non-Steam Shortcut GTA 4. So it's 3270. This number changes every time uh, you install a non-Steam game. So it's not a specific number for, G for your game. Even if I install this game at the non-Steam game again, it will give me a random number. So it's just take note of that. So I need to locate this folder. So home, I'm going to open a new tab. And make sure on your top right, the three lines go here and show hidden files. It's checked because we need to go to .steam. This is a hidden folder, .steam. And then the Steam folder, Steam apps folder, compact data. And then we need that number again. So three, two, seven, zero, three. Three, two, seven. Okay, should be this one. Double check. Yeah, 8388. Eight, eight. Yeah, 8388. Eight. Okay, yep, this one is the one. So the prefix, we go into the prefix folder and there's a user.reg. Open it. You should open the like notepad thing so you can edit it. And then control F. Let's find, let's find the software backslash backslash wine backslash backslash dll overrides yep we found it here so we need to add those dlls that we added here so let's just copy one of these so I'll, I'll i'll give you the the code in in the description so you don't have to type it you can just copy it so what were the dlls that we added let's double check so the first one we added was this one advanced hook i'm not sure if it's um case sensitive so let's just make let's just uh like follow it advanced hook so i'm following the case in case it's case sensitive okay so advanced hook i've got this one done i think there's a few of them so advanced hook and then the next one was d sound D sound, so D sound. Okay, and then we got another one is, I think we got one more. Yeah. Okay, script talk. Okay, script talk. Script hook. Okay, that's it. Is it it? Double check, do it. Yep. Those are the DLLs. So save, exit, exit, and exit. And we can, we can run the game. Or well, maybe I'll just run the game in gaming mode because I know it works. I've done it before. So we don't need to try it on desktop mode. So let's just go to gaming mode now. Save some time. Don't want to drag the video on too long. 
So yeah, this game, um, I didn't really play much of it uh, back in the day. I, I did play some of it, uh, but and then I wasn't really into gaming at that time of my life. I was probably working or partying. I don't know. Um, I, I played games, but yeah, there's a phrase where you know you just play less. So all right. So what's the first thing you do when you go to gaming mode? I think we changed the artwork. Okay. Oh, I think the name is not. Yeah, we should change the name. Let's change the name to. Um. Okay. Let's change the name to Grand Theft. I think that's how. Auto, four. Oh no! What the hell? Okay, let's do it again. Grand Theft Auto. All right, the complete edition. Yeah, let's get this one. All right. Okay, official capsule. Yeah, great. Let's get the official capsule, like I always do. Uh, you don't have to, but that's just how I like it. Official logo. Yeah, great. Icon, yeah, I just got the standard one. All right. Okay, let's boot up the game. And the toggle is RB plus X. So I need, if I'm using controller, it's RB and the X button together to toggle the trainer on and off. If you're on keyboard and mouse, it's F11. So yeah, let's take a look. I think the graphics, the resolution is a little bit off, I think. I think it's a little bit off. Okay, let's see if the controls work. Yep, it's good. Grand Theft Auto. Okay, I think the, yeah, the resolution is definitely a little bit weird. Uh, control the options. And it, okay. Graphics, yeah, the, yeah, this is definitely, okay. Apply, yes. Is that better? I think it's better. Um, yeah, let's try to make it look a little bit better. Night shadows, high, very high, very high. Okay. V-Sync on, off. Oh, let's leave it on. Okay, apply. Okay. So let's start the game. I think this game came out and then um, I played a bit of it. And then a few years later, GTA 5 came out. And then I just played GTA 5 and I just forgot about this game. I might play it again on the Steam Deck if I have time. With the trainer so I can cheat just go through the game hopefully that'll be fun all right okay so hello goldberg welcome to yeah we got the mod on i don't know why it says welcome to liberty legacy 1.8.1 i thought i downloaded 1.8.2 but yeah i guess so press x okay so rb plus x Okay, personalize the trainer or skip this page. Oh, so I can change stuff here, but yeah, I don't think I'm going to do that now. If you like the trainer, make sure you support my work. Okay, so I'm going to give the credits to the guy, Constantine, in the description. Maybe you can check out his stuff like from his YouTube channel and stuff. All right. Oh? My God, I bounced out. I didn't bounce out the first time I played it. I don't know why I bounced up there. So let's try it again. Sorry about that. Is it because the settings were too high? Because the first time I did it, I didn't toggle everything as to very high. Maybe, maybe not. Not sure. Doesn't matter. We'll do it again.
All right, play. So, start. All righty. Starting a new game. Okay. The cousins, Bellic. Is that how you pronounce it? Okay. Just gonna skip the cutscenes. All right. Okay. So He's the frame rate. Road, I think there's a little bit of shader cache going on at the start. Now it's America's like at a fifty-nine constantly. So okay, let's um hog on the cheats. The trainer, okay. So it's uh, RB and X. Yep, it's working. So player, so you can do a lot of things, I think. Wash clothes, God mode. Okay, so I guess if I toggle this, I'm in God mode. Alright, max health. Never wanted. Yeah, I think you can do a lot of things with this. So let's just do set money. Alright. So let's do 10,000. Ten thousand, and how do I set it? Confirm B. Okay, B to confirm. All right. All right. So you see, I got ten thousand dollars just like that. So yeah, I think it's definitely working. Our country has women too. All right. So I think I'll leave the other like settings for you to figure out yourself for the trainer. And yeah, I'll, I'll leave the video here. So I think this was very successful. Um, if this video helped you out, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Later.